Hi, I'm Bob. Let's continue our solutions to computer exercises for Chapter Seven: Multiple Regression Analysis with Qualitative Information. Computer exercise number seven is about the gender difference in wages. It is a function of education because we add the interaction term between female and education to the model. When education is zero. The difference is minus zero point two two seven. When education is twelve point five years, the difference is minus zero point two nine six. We can use the margins command in Stata to obtain the marginal effect of female on log wage at any point of education. It gives the standard error t statistic and p value. Female workers earn about twenty two point seven percent less than male workers if they receive no education. The effect is not statistically significant at the ten percent level. The difference rises to twenty nine point six percent if they have twelve point five years of education, holding other factors in the model fixed. The effect is statistically significant at the one percent level. We replace the interaction term in part two with female times education minus twelve point five. Now the coefficient on female becomes the wage difference when education equals twelve point five. Running the regression, we find that the coefficient on female is minus zero point two nine six. It is statistically significant. Around the sample mean of education, the estimate is more precise than the estimate at the extreme values. Let's do exercise eight. Beta one should be positive if there is discrimination against minorities and the appropriate factors have been controlled for. The estimated equation is as follows. The coefficient on white is zero point two zero one. It implies that white people are about twenty percent more likely to get approved for a mortgage loan than non-white people. It is practically large and statistically significant at the one percent level, with a t-statistic of ten point one one and a p-value of zero to three decimal places. The estimate drops to zero point one two nine. After controlling for the other fourteen variables in the model, it is still statistically significant and practically large. It is evidence of discrimination against non-whites. For part four, we add the interaction term between white and the variable measuring other obligations as a percentage of income. The interaction term is statistically significant, with a t-statistic of 3.53 and a p-value of zero to three decimal places. For the last part, the effect of being white on the probability of approval at the 32 obligation rate is 0.113. There are at least two ways to compute the 95% confidence interval for the estimate. Stata's margins command with the dydx and add options gives the estimate an standard error t-statistic 
p-value and 95% confidence interval. Another method is to construct an interaction term equal to white times the obligation rate minus 32. With this interaction in the model, the coefficient on white is the race differential when the obligation rate is 32. And we can read the 95% confidence interval from the result window. It is from 0 0.073 to 0 0.152. The confidence interval excludes zero. The model shows evidence of discrimination against lung whites around the sample means. Let's find answers to computer exercise number 9. For the first question, we use the tabulate command to find the fractions. 39.21% of families in the sample are eligible for participation in the plan. For part 2, the estimated linear probability model is as follows. The eligibility for the plan is related to income and age because the estimates on income, income squared, age and age squared are all individually significant at the 1% level. Once age and income have been controlled for, we could not reject the law hypothesis that gender does not affect eligibility. In part 4, we use the predict command in stata with the XB option to generate the fitted values. The range is from 0.03 to 0.70. There's no value negative or greater than 1. For part 5, we define a dummy variable E401k tilde equals 1 if the fitted value is greater than 0 0.5 and 0 if less than 0 0.5. Out of 9,275 families, 2,460 are predicted to be eligible for the plan. For Park 6, we use the tabulate command followed by the two variables to see the two-way table of frequencies. Looking at the first row, we find that from 5,638 families not eligible for the plan, 4,607 families are predicted correctly. It is 81.71%. We can read the percentage using the row option. Of the 3,637 families eligible for the plan, 1,429 are predicted correctly, which is 39.29%. For Park 7, the linear probability model predicts the families not eligible for the plan at a much higher correct probability than families eligible for the plan. For the last part, other things equal, 
if a family has someone with an individual retirement account, the family is estimated to be two percentage points more likely to be eligible for the plan. The p-value is 0.105. The effect is not statistically significant at a 10% level against a two-sided alternative. Thank you very much for solving the computer exercises with me. See you soon. Thank you for watching this video and subscribing to my YouTube channel. See you next time.